this particular session going on right now is for um, incoming freshman honors algebra one. Um, we also have um, a session going on for honors geometry and honors algebra two. It was an opportunity for them to get a jump start for um, the fall. Um, all the honors math classes are given a summer packet, similar to um, English, where they have a summer reading assignment. And um, it's an opportunity for them to um, check their answers, go over their work, get individualized help one-on-one, -on -one, and be ready for their first assessment and when school starts in the first week of school. completely different than early start, which is the 7.30 to 1.30. Um, the first sessions in June, we practiced some of the skills in the packet to try and then, yeah. then they had a month to work on what we gave them, like the tools, and now, like, so they're coming back so you can see they have, um, you know, they've tried some of the problems, they have some circles, so then those are the ones we're gonna have, we're gonna go over and have questions on. Go ahead, help one another, and then I'll, I'll help you. So, um, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna make it bigger and better. So we we got a grant at the very end of the year and found some money. And um, the um, AP boot camp is a little bit different because that's for AP. And then so this is the other level. There are some kids that are still in honors but not in AP because in math we don't have AP until senior year stats and calc mm -hmm. and these guys always want help along the way and there's nothing ever for unless they're in AP mm -hmm. so this is like an honors camp. Any other wise cancel? Do they reduce? Reduce what do you mean by reduce? <coughs> we might mean the same thing. Um, maybe do you like subtract um, six and three? Right, because you have three Y's on top. So you're looking here, right? So same base when you're dividing, what do you do with the exponents? Subtract. Subtract. So what's three minus six? Negative three. So you'd have Y to the negative third down here. What would I do with that to Move make it, it positive? Move it up. <clears throat> so this would cancel be y to the negative third, and then you want to move that up. All right, anything else? The other y's, what are we going to do with the other y's? Subtract. Subtract them. So we have y to the third in the numerator, y squared in the denominator. What's three minus two? One. So where does that y go, in the numerator or denominator? did here? Okay. You could have left that here because we had another y term so we could have added those together. So here's the deal with exponents. There's not just one way to do it. It's, it's you know the properties. You know same base, add the exponents. Same base, subtract the exponents. Okay? But you might see I'm going to add everything on top and add everything on the bottom and then subtract. You might see subtracting right away. You might see what you saw, y to the third over y to the sixth, and you saw that with a negative third and moved that up. Somebody else might have seen y to the third over y squared, and you would have seen that if you subtract those, you'd have a positive. Like some kids try to keep everything positive, and then you're not dealing with negatives, okay? So there's no rhyme or reason in the sense that you have to do it this way. All right, but something happened here because we didn't get five y's on the bottom. So let's let's double check the y's. When you did y three minus y six, is there a reason why you put the y negative three on the bottom or the top? Oh, I should have gone up here. That's why, right. right? All right. Okay, so let's just let's. I'm gonna erase this. Let's just go through. Let's double check the y's. Okay. So up here. Is this our original? No. 
I'm taking this off. All right, so let's look at the Y's. Here's another way you can do it. I have three Y's on top. Where did this Y come from? Let me do this. I'm double checking that Y. And then this is what should be here. So this is our problem before we start canceling, correct? All right, so we're just looking at the Y's. I have three Y's on top. How many do I have down here in the denominator? Six, seven, eight. All right, so I have Y to the eight down here. So now I have three minus eight, which is negative five. If I would write that negative five, it would be in the numerator. I'm gonna move it down. So there's our answer. I might, I might have done what you said. I put it on the wrong, in the wrong place and that goofed this up. So again, you might have seen canceling here. Somebody might have seen canceling here. Somebody else might have seen putting them together here. It's what you see, okay? And there's no, every single way is right. I tend to try to collect all the X's, collect all the Y's, collect all the A's in the numerator. Collect all the variables that are the same in the denominator and subtract one. So the idea of double root means double tells us how much? Two. And it means two answers. So when we solve for these, what did you have to do to solve these first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the difference. So before really we could get your arrow, could we have these two? Excuse me. 